Hi guys, welcome to Reem's Place. Today I'm making a meatloaf. Um, earlier I did a video on cheesy hash brown potatoes that I'm going to serve with this. So I wanted to get the meatloaf started to get that in the oven as well. What you're going to need is a pound of ground beef. Actually you can use any kind of ground. Um, chicken, turkey, whatever you like. I have beef, so that's what I'm using. I have a pound of it. I'm going to season it first. This is not fancy. It's not really a recipe. I just kind of throw it together. Salt. Not too much because I'm adding onion soup mix. Pepper. I like a lot of pepper. One package of onion soup mix. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to move over here a little bit. One package of onion soup mix. Some parsley. I would guess I'm gonna guess that's about two tablespoons of parsley that would be the oven um, what else do we need in here I put it all in at one time and then I go for it okay so I have a pound of ground beef maybe slightly more what I did was in my food processor I grinded up um, about four slices of bread plus the heel, so four and a half, I don't really count that. Looks like a lot, but it's all going to get soaked in when you see what I'm doing. Okay. So that goes in. Okay, guys, I ran out of battery, so let me recap. I'm not sure what you saw. In this bowl, I have a pound, maybe slightly more, of ground beef. To it, I added um, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. If I had to guess, I would say about a half a teaspoon of each. I did about two tablespoons of dried parsley, one package of onion soup mix, the dry kind, one envelope. Um, I did about, I think I did about two-thirds of a cup of ketchup, maybe about a quarter cup of milk, one egg, and I was just explaining that this is some really lean ground beef that I got from a friend of mine who um, gifted me with it that she and her family got it from a farm they bought half a cow being that it's so lean I'm going to add some some fat to it which I'm going to do in the form of cheddar cheese so um, in my fridge in the spirit of cleaning it out I have some shredded cheddar cheese and I also had a couple of slices of cheddar cheese which I cut into little pieces so that's probably a half a cup of cheddar cheese and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get in here with my hands oh and I also had um, four slices plus the heel of bread that I um, that I grated up in my food processor and this tastes so good I mean everybody compliments on it it's so easy I honestly think the things that make it taste so good is the um, ketchup and the and the onion onion soup mix. I mean, you can't go wrong with onion soup mix ever. Okay, so I have one egg in here. Looks like it's coming together pretty good. I'm just folding in a little bit. And you can tell this is a, um, you can tell the way it's um, coming together that it's a very lean ground beef. If you had like an 80 20 mix, would be ideal because that's got a little more fat in it, so it kind of, it kind of comes together a little bit better. But this is, this is okay. Okay. And I'm always grateful for gifted meat. Okay, so I have here. 7 by 11 pan you could do um, you could do a loaf pan you could do you know however you want it and all I do is I put it in here and I just kind of shape it myself Now again, this is huge, so I'm going to definitely make some freezer meals. Um, as I said earlier, my other video previous to this was my cheesy hash brown potato video. I'm going to have that with this tonight, 
and then there's going to be tons left over so I'm going to do some freezer meals and that will be another video okay now if you like you can add some ketchup to the top or some tomato paste or I don't know whatever you guys like barbecue sauce would be good I like mine plain so that's how I'm going to do it I'm going to get this into a well I would normally bake it I would say 375 to 400 degrees for 45 minutes but my oven right now is on 350 for my hash brown casserole so I'm going to throw it in there and if it takes another 15 minutes or so then it'll take another 15 minutes or so but I'm going to get this in there I'm going to clean this mess up and I'm going to bring it back uh, when this comes out of the oven so I can cut you a slice and show you what it looks like all right I hope you check out the um, cheesy hash brown potato casserole as well see you in a bit